Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, welcome back here at Crypto Nation. Hey, if you're new here, it's totally free. Subscribe, hit the like button for post notifications. And I just want to say, hey, thanks to my recently new subscribers. It means a lot. And let's get right on to it. Um, so um, the crypto market, we got we got a lot of our portfolios, you know, got hit over the last couple of days. Um, you know, as you can see, guys, Bitcoin and ETH went back down to the mid 60s. So Bitcoin is back down to like 65, 8, 87. It was down below. It was lower than that earlier. Ethereum was at 3,472. So Ethereum actually got down to like under 3,400. I was like, wow, the market is, you know, we've been flash crashing for the last couple of days. But, you know, Bitcoin is still at, got that 1.2 trillion market cap. Ethereum is at 417 billion market cap. So, yeah, uh, the good part is that we don't need to panic. Bitcoin and ETH, is, they now find a new level of structure. To, to work with and uh, you know whenever you know obviously we there was some negative data that came out with the whole interest rate thing i guess Powell, whatever they, they decided to keep the interest rates uh the same or something like that so yeah that's what you know pretty much happened with that so i so that you know i guess that was that had a negative impact on the whole crypto market so you got to look at the whole crypto market and overall that's the reason i know that this whatever your coin you're in and, and it, whatever it, it dipped or whatever you don't have to panic like I said, if you got the extra liquidity, perfect time to buy more because we're, we're definitely not going to see these prices forever. Um, honestly, when we see these dips like this, this is actually a blessing. The fact that people people can get in on, can stack their bags more. People who probably didn't have enough tokens, they feel they didn't have enough. You can definitely, now you can buy, um, you can buy in at a cheaper price now, right? Uh, so yeah, this is what the market's been doing for the past, you know, months now. You know, we'll get these pumps and then, you know, we'll pull all the way back. Um, it looked like there was definitely profit taken during our last pump when we got our last little pump. You know, we got a there was probably always going to be profit taking. There's always going to be day traders or swing traders in crypto. That's just how it is. But everybody who's holding crypto long term, everybody who's holding crypto long term, you know, we're we already know what we're holding for. We're holding for this, uh, you know, financial freedom. Uh, but anyways, uh, like I said, I'm looking at Bitcoin. Let me take a look at that one hour. The one hour is down 018 percent. Ethereum is down 0.33% for the one hour. So, but, but they're both down over 5% for the seven day. So, you know, it's Friday. Let's see what happens this weekend. Maybe we can, maybe we can get a pump again. Let's see. Like I said, the crypto market is pretty, um, it's pretty unpredictable. You know, like I said, a lot of our portfolios got hit, you know, hey, but it is, that's what the crypto market does. You know, my portfolio has gone from a little bit over 11K back down to under, under 9K, which is not that bad, you know? Um, which is not that bad. What I do, whenever we get these flash crashes, what I do is I tweak, I kind of manipulate, tweak my portfolio to my liking. You know, I tweak my portfolio. So, you know, I, I, I was able to um, convert over to pick up some more bump. You know, now I got over, I went from 125 million bump. Now I'm at about, I think 135 million bump. So I picked up 10 more million bump, so, you know, for this, this, you know, this latest flash crash. So, so when we get our next pump, you know, I, my portfolio is going to is going to multiply more, you know, when we get our next, you know, pump, um, especially with Solana. Solana's doing with Solana get his next major pump where because Solana's down 12 percent for the seven day. So it's only going to be a matter of time before Solana pumps again. It, it obviously follows Bitcoin, you know. But anyways, um, want to do, you know, quick update on Swift as well. Swift, we're at, you know, the other day we were at about, what, 64 percent of a penny. Now we're down to 57 like I said, it's, it's gotten back down to the levels where, you know, you can stack up more at a cheaper price because uh, you guys saw how we went from like 46, 47 percent of a penny all the way up to 77. What a week, what close to two weeks, a week and a half to two weeks ago now. So, yeah, we we, we, can, we know how Swift coin pumps and we recently pumped up the seven back up to 72 percent the other day. Right. So and then before we came back down. Uh, but, yeah, I'm telling you guys, Bitcoin's next major pump, man. I think, like I said, Swift, I believe that we could possibly get up to a penny, the two cents. Depending on how high Bitcoin go, we could definitely possibly hit that penny. I'm telling you, when this thing pumps, man, it pumps hard. But anyways, uh, that's my crypto update. But uh, there's, you know, Swift. Um, you know, like I said, we're, we're down, we're only down 6.9% for the day. We're down 10.8 for the week. We're, and we're up 31% for the one month. So, uh, but you all, like I said, you got to look at the whole crypto market. You can't just look at one coin. Be like, oh, why is, why is the, why is the coin that I'm in taking this going down? Well, you got to look at Bitcoin and ETH. 
you know, you got to look at the whole crypto market overall. The whole market is down. So so when I see that, you know, see how, you know, we you know, we dip from 70 percent of a penny back down to 57. I look at the whole crypto market is down. So why would I panic? There was nothing wrong with Swift coin. Right. Um, like I said, this is opportunity to DCA in like we've been doing for the past couple of years. But like I said, we, we know we know what we're holding for. We know these flash crashes, they, they come all the time. If they next, you know, it, we, we're, we'll probably get a pump this weekend. You never know. We'll probably get to see another pump, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, there's our volume. We're down negative 21%. Uh, like I said, Swift, man, I'm telling you, this, this is still my number one bullish uh, low-cap utility play. Um, it's going to be doing a lot of big things. Uh, let me see here. But, yeah, um, you know, everybody got hit over the last couple of days. But, you know, it's going to be better days. We're going to pump back up because once this crypto market, you know, once we get back up and running, it's going to be all good. Um, now, mind you, in my previous video, I said, you know, with Swift, when we hit like about when we got up into the 70s, you know, I could have easily took some profits off the table. But, you know, like I said, I, I wasn't expecting the market to flash crash again. But, but you know, it's, it's like one of those things. What it should have, right? Uh, but, you know, we're still in a better place than we were a month ago. But like I said, you know, it's hard to time the market. Like I said, I could have easily took profits off the, took a little bit of profits off the table and wait for it to go back down. But like, what if you take profits, right? And then the, the coin just continue going up. Then I'll really be kicking myself in the butt, right? So yeah, it's best to play it safe. But uh, matter of fact, I'm, when I get a chance, I'm going to do a video on Swift about exit strategy for the, for the next couple of months, how to do a, a, a nice exit strategy um as the price goes up over time i definitely got my extra strategy in place but i'm going to make a totally separate video because it's always smart to, to slowly dca out of your play over time you know going into the bull run uh but yeah um there we have it um uh, like i said it said swift definitely worth the wait yep it's definitely worth it as far as this coin goes all i can tell you is that i'm not a smart man and that's about it i'm bullish on swift the majority of people that's in the community for Swift were all bullish. Like I said, we're, we're shooting up the 30K wallet holders. And you got to think, over a year ago, we were at about 10,500 wallet holders a little bit over a year ago. A little bit over a year later, we've more than doubled the wallet holders. So the community for Swift, you know, with the whole cross-chain swaps, man, we're going to be number one, man. Our community is only growing. More people is learning about Swift. And this is the perfect opportunity when you see these flash crashes like this, you know, if you're new. Um, you know, you was looking at a, a, a low, a low, a low cap utility all coin to get into, you know, not financial advice, but this is my number one pick. And I, this is still my, my number one biggest bag in my portfolio. Uh, so yeah, man, um, this is it right here. Um, Swift coin, which got me patient because obviously Swift follows Bitcoin and ETH, but I, I feel that Swift, Swift is ready, ready to explode, man. I feel it, man. This low market cap, man. And you got we got one of the best utilities in the as far as uh you know from when it comes to you know low cap or mark micro cap and yeah uh but tell me what you think don't forget to subscribe hit the like button please uh support the channel man i gotta always keep my paypal and cash app in the description and i also have um uh, get the channel membership definitely get the channel membership guys i think if i get a chance sometime this weekend i'm going to post a new video for the channel members i think it's time for me to post a new video for the channel members where with the chat when you get the channel membership it's three dollars a month and, and you can see my portfolio you can see exactly how many tokens i'm holding in my portfolio you can see the coins i'm holding you can see what i'm doing and uh, not not financial advice but if you want to copy what i'm doing go go for it but like i said it's not financial advice but, but it's highly recommended to have your own mind in this crypto market you know a lot of it you got to do your own research and but you know if you choose to copy what i'm doing it's fine but definitely want to have your own mind and research and research whatever coins you're in because uh, I definitely done my own research on every, you know, coin that I invested in. Uh, but anyways, yeah. And also, I, I like um, I do searches and I look for low cap utility gems, you know, when I post. It. So I'm definitely going to be posting new content for the channel members. So as I get more people in there, I, I can start posting even more. Right now, I try to do at least about two videos a week for you guys. But yeah, definitely get the channel membership and you support the channel. Or you can make that small donation to the my PayPal or Cash App that I donate. Excuse me, PayPal or Cash App that I post in the description but hey anyways got I'm gonna get out of here hope everybody have a great weekend uh happy friday everybody and uh let's go swift and let's go bitcoin eth the whole crypto market man
you know, we're, we're all in this to win. But like I said, over the next couple of um, um, months, um, you know, between now and like September, October, it's going to be big in crypto. It's going to be big. A lot of people don't be fooled by these flash crashes. Institutions are just buying more, man. They're, they've been stacking our bags for the last couple of years. Don't be fooled by these flash crashes. That's how crypto goes. But anyways, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, peace.